Hey guys, welcome back to It's Mom Time. In today's video, we are making a beach essentials video. So what you will pack to beach and how to have a good time. Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, first item we're showing obviously is the beach bag. So as you can see, this beach bag, inside it's like really spacious. So it's not like a tiny one. And it's perfect if you're going with your family, like a family of four. And if not, like all the stuff that's inside, there is like this pocket inside here. See, this pocket fits about three sunscreen bottles. I tested it myself and it's really spacious. See, you can see my hand in there, see? See, it's like this deep, so like this deep. And it's really nice. Okay, next item. The first essential we're gonna be putting in the bag is sunscreen. So there are three types of sunscreen. So this one is like the liquidy one, like the lotion. And then there's the spray one. You spray on and then there's a gel one. It absorbs quickly. But all these are the lotion you apply. So not the spray, not the gel. Okay, the next two items I'm gonna be showing are wet wipes and hand sanitizer. So right now it's COVID-19. So you need to bring hand sanitizer wherever you go. If you go on walks, if you go to the zoo, if you go to the beach, you have to have hand sanitizers. And if you don't have hand sanitizers, you can bring wet wipes. But normally when you go to the beach, when there isn't a virus spreading around, um, you usually just use these. Like if you're eating something and there are like crumbs all over your hand, you just take one and you wipe it. Okay, the next two essentials we're gonna be showing are hats and sunglasses. This category is protection. So you can either bring hats alone or sunglasses alone. So you need to bring hats and sunglasses when you go to the beach because then you get sunburns, right? So you need to protect yourself. Sunscreen alone is not enough. Like your head, it starts burning and your eyes like around there. So you still need to bring these essentials. Mmm, I'm getting hungry and thirsty, well, you're just in time. We are gonna be talking about food and water in our next essentials. So here I have some healthy food. As you can see, it says yellow plums. So another good summer food is like watermelon or strawberries. Those are good summer food too. But if you want junk food, you just wanna, you know, have fun. And sometimes you can eat junk food, but not all the time. But if you are eating junk food, then here you can get some banana muffins. These are still healthy because they have banana. And next, you need to bring water. Water is a must have. Every human has to drink water. But here, there are plastic water bottles. You can get like a water bottle that isn't plastic. But if you're using plastic water bottles, make sure you don't throw it out like when you're at the beach because you don't want to affect the wildlife there. So go home and then throw it out. Okay, next two essentials are um, swimwear and towels. So there are two types of people. There might be people who prefer playing in the sand and making sand castles. And there are people who prefer playing in the water and surfing and doing water sports. So here are some swim costumes. So we're gonna talk about the people who like in the water. So you need to bring um, swimwear when you go because you can't just swim with your clothes on. So here we have a one piece and some swimming trunks. And when you get out of the water, you need towels to wipe yourself off because you don't want to shiver because the water will be cold. Remember what I said, there are two types of people at the beach. The people who like to play in sand and the people who prefer to play in water. Well, we're gonna talk about the people who prefer to play in sand. So when you're, at the sand, when you're at the beach, you might want like to play in the sand. So you should bring a pail and shovel and maybe even more accessories. As you can see on the sticker, it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six. Six essentials and well, six toys. So you won't be bored. It comes with a pail. It comes with a shovel, a dolphin, an octopus, a sand ball, and I think that's a whale. Yeah, and it comes in a basket where you could put it back when you're not playing with it. Okay, let me open it up so you can get a closer look. As you can see, there are a few extras that my family put in when we went to the beach, like 
this one right here. I actually don't know what this is. Oh, I think this is like a sands drainer right here in the middle, see? And there is a duck. The set didn't actually come with a duck. We just added that so we could have a bit more fun. Let's talk entertainment. So as you can see, this is my favorite series of books to read, The Babysitter's Club. This is not the original book made by Anne M. Martin, but this is in comic form because I like comic books. And it's my favorite series. So sometimes if you're bored, like if you're in the car going to the beach or you're at the beach and prefer just lying down on the blanket and you wanna read something, then bring your favorite books, bring your favorite series so you won't get bored and you'll have a good time. Now we're gonna show a beach mat. So this beach mat is like really, really big. So it's like fit for like four to six, five people. So you don't have to bring a bunch of towels and then when you go home, there'll be so much sand that you have to bring in your house. No. Can you guys see this foil? So when sand gets on the foil, it'll be easy to brush away. But if you get like a regular towel, then it's not gonna be so easy to brush. You'll bring like most of the sand home from the beach. I know this is not a beach essential, but just in case. You might be thinking, why is she showing a pillow? Well, like maybe it's a long ride from your home to the beach and you're gonna get really tired and you're next stiff. So just bring a pillow in case. Okay, next one is a beach umbrella. So we're not gonna set it up, then it takes time and we don't have a beach in our house, but bring a beach umbrella. If it's like a really sunny day, then you don't want it to hit your skin. You don't want it to hit your face. And besides, it'll be like so hot and then you start sweating and you wanna go home. So bring a beach umbrella instead. So the last product or last essential you're gonna bring to the beach is a beach chair or well, an outdoors chair. We have more of these at home, but we're just showing one because then we have to put all of the stuff back. So if you don't wanna sit on the mat and you prefer sitting in a chair, then bring an outdoor chair because the beach is outdoors, so bring it. So this is how you should pack it and I'm showing you this. So the stuff we didn't put in, those are like carry-ons. You have to carry it to the beach. So it doesn't actually go in here. So next time you go to the beach and you don't know what to pack, make sure you use our tutorial and our stuff. Well, not literally our stuff, but you know, the stuff we're putting in. So you'll have a fantastic beach time. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed our video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more videos. Bye. <laughs>